Hello everyone and welcome back to some more seven days to die here. We have a water tower base that I built In just creative mode just playing around having some fun with it um, This is kind of what it looks like on the outside um, it's Just a standard water tower that you get into any any city yeah. um, it usually has a zombie up here, so if you're gonna make a base, make sure you clear out the zombie that lays up here, otherwise he's gonna drop down on you. You wouldn't like that very much. Let me take you in through the front door. So basically we got this here. We got the spikes. Then you go in the front door. And then you go up the ramp. And you're gonna have to build your way up. Um, and then remove the blocks when you get up here you know just go back down and grab your blocks but then you come up to right about here and you just press over and then you land on here so this is the base pretty much you got protection up you got protection all around i mean a bunch that yes yeah, pretty nice i think you can fall down in here I think you can if it's wood, but you can't if it's uh, concrete. Keep that in mind. It's pretty nice. You got the little catwalk out here, where if they get up underneath your base, you can shoot them. And then we got the walls here for no birds can swoop down. And here, I mean, the chances of a bird getting in there are slim, but if they do, be ready. And then you can see all around can shoot down in here if they're like beating on the wall. You might be able to get a Molotov in here. Nope. No. You cannot get a Molotov down in there. Keep that in mind. All right. So what I want to do is try to like defend off the day 14 horde here. See how it holds up. As you can see, I honestly I didn't go crazy on the spikes cuz I wanted it to be like as if we were to really could possibly have that many spikes um yeah i made this stuff concrete but it don't really matter i just did it like for the aesthetics i don't think it really matters what it is made of because i think it would work either way and i could see the damage you know i can just go over and see how much damage they do um so yeah so let's wait for the horde and then let's have some fun see how it works all right guys and we're off so as i was waiting i kind of started to realize that not everybody's gonna have an ak and a submachine gun so i think i grabbed the wrong arrows i did so let me grab some more arrows and then we'll go see what they're destroying out here All right, I want them to come up here. I right, hear they are. They're kind of getting stuck in the trap, which is to be expected. I hear them banging on a lot of metal. I thought that was a zombie up here, but I don't think I'm banging on metal. I think it's mainly just a fence. Like he ran back outside of the fence. I mean, I guess we we'll just keep shooting him at the fence. See what happened. See if they're trying to get up here now, because this is where I want a model pile. Maybe if I stand up here, they'll come up here. Okay, so I mean they're just trying to get it to make their way in the fence now There he, there they go Let's See where they go right up to the front here And this would be you know pretty easy to find a spot to um, Put your junk turret if you're a junk turret believer 
I myself am a junk turret believer, so I don't know why I didn't use that in mind here. Um, but I'm sure you'd be able to like put it right here, right? Put it right in there. That wouldn't be bad. It looks like they're finally starting to beat on those. And honestly, those are just a distraction. Um, so basically this whole place is hung up on this in these metal bolt bol uh, bars that are around. These are there, but if these fall, it means absolutely nothing. It's basically just a distraction for the zombies. And I built this ramp here in hopes that that would bring the zombies to want to go there. Um, maybe run around the fence to the front. Let's get some pistol damage going. So by day 14, I don't see why you wouldn't have a level one pistol. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to make it seem as realistic as possible to see if this is actually an adequate base. I mean, you might even have like an SMG by then. I don't know. It depends. My series, I'm at day seven and I barely have anything. I have a nice double barrel. That's about it. See, this guy's the only guy that's really been hitting on the right thing. Now these two are. But you could just sit here with your pistol. Or, whoops, wrong button, sorry. Or your bow. As soon as they decide to go for that spot, just take them out. Anybody else that's not going for that spot, not really a priority. But also, we gotta keep in mind that that is steel. It's gonna take a lot for them to get through. Like this guy, he's going for the column again. And that's fine. He can go for that column. That column means nothing. Well, let's get some fire down here. Let me show you guys about this fire. End up here, go right there. Boom, look, and you're not even damaged. You get two down in there. You can also get it down over here. And look, he came over trying to get some. We did try right there, but can't get it down right there. Anybody else down there? Hello? Let me take a look. Okay, so that's all the zombies on day 14. Okay. So, I mean, I want to spawn in some more. And I want to just let them kind of uh, sit there. Let's do some cheerleaders or some Darlene's. We'll do like a nice little group of them. We'll get their attention. We'll come up here and we'll let them sit for a little bit. She's out there banging on a rock. Oh my gosh. You destroyed that rock with like two smacks. And we'll just take them out. See what they do. Are these ones like super strong or something? Cause I ain't trying to like let super strong zombies come in. But look, see, this one's running away. They're kind of confused on what is going on. And that's good. Yeah, these ones are starting to figure it out. Like I said, that's fine. You just sit here, and focus on them. Throw some Molotovs down. Oh my gosh. Can't throw them straight down. There we go. That's the sweet spot. Okay, so I mean, when who hasn't set themselves on fire in this game? I dare you to answer truthfully. You know, everyone's done it at least seventeen times. That appears to be all of them too. So let's get down here and check it out. So yeah, what I was saying. So basically they did seven damage. They did 900 damage to this, but if you have one forged steel, these some forged steel, you could buy it at the trader one fully repaired Two, 
three, four. There, no, we're still at three. Three pieces. Four, five pieces. About, about ten pieces afterward, and you're looking good. I mean, come on. I mean, that's not even necessary. It only took eight damage. That's just wasting steel at that point. Let me get rid of these spikes. Oh my gosh. Why is it not hitting the spike? Right, we just dug a, a, a tunnel to Neverland. But anyways, <clears throat> so the basic structure of this is dependent on this. See, it's connected right here. Okay. We'll do this too. That way you can see and it's connected right here and stuff like that. So that's where this base is standing from. And it's also standing on these. This column here, I put in with just the mindset of tricking them, put some spikes around these columns and they're gonna start smacking these columns because they think that this is where the damage is coming from. Like this is what's gonna bring, bring me down and them able to get to me. But it's not. This is. In these columns here. So they did knock this out. They didn't knock this one out. They didn't knock this one out. But see, these ones aren't really damaged at all. Yeah, that's a little damaged. You could also upgrade these with a little bit of iron. Look at that. I think these in the middle are just decoration. Not able to be upgraded. Whoops, I didn't mean to make that go away to concrete. Oh well. Simple fixes. Look. Couple hundred, couple hundred. And we are looking good. This base turned out really good. I mean the one negative thing is what you might have a zombie that will respawn up here every little bit. I'm pretty sure if you put a bed up here or like a land claim block then that one zombie is probably not going to spawn here <clears throat> and all basically what it is is just for this base is just some normal blocks around this base of the tower and then some holes up to make you have a little bit of a ceiling and that's it man simple base honestly it's super easy if i could redo this base which i mean i obviously i could I would probably come down a level or two. I would probably be like right here. But look, just to show you, it doesn't rely on this stuff. See, this stuff is non-existent. It don't even matter. The base is still not even close to falling, right? Now let's take this out. Look, it's not even connected anyways. Right? Take this out. That's not connected. Take this little thinner piece out too. Look, not even connected. Let's see how much damage this has to take in order for it to fall. All that's not connected. Not connected. Boom, look. Still nothing. Still nothing. Look, it's not connected anywhere besides the center base. And look, nothing is even falling. Take one block out. Nothing. Take that block out. Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, when is it going to come tumbling? Oh, still nothing. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Are you kidding me? Look at this. It's standing on this right here. As soon as I shoot that, the whole thing falls. But look how much stuff they have to destroy, guys. This base is going to be so good. And all you'll need to do is just replace some spikes. And look, there's plenty of trees. You all know the deal. You just walk up to it and shoot it. And look, you get all that wood. I'm just kidding. But come on, guys. All right, you ready for the action here? 
Let's see it fall. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no. Oh, no. When's the water going to come out? Okay. There was no water. It disappeared. Oh, there's the water. Dude, X marks the spot. I mean, come on. These X's are indestructible. But that was the water tower base, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys liked what you see. And if you do, you should check out my series that's going on right now. It's called Pandemic. And we're just crushing it. I mean, I do not have a water tower base in Pandemic. Um, spoiler, I don't. I am using a day's motel and there's like, um, a loft or something that's like out in front of, um, the day's motel, like right above the swimming pool. And that's what I'm using. And I'm going to build something there and maybe some kind of like stairway corridor leading up to us. It's going to be so cool. Um, if you guys do want to check it out, the, the video will be in the description or on the end card. So make sure you do. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the water tower base. It was pretty neat. It took a lot for it to fall. But when it fell, it came crashing down. But as you've seen, like, there was so much stuff for them to break through. It's such a good base. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It will last you guys, I would say, up to, I don't know, day 70 or it, honestly. Until you get demolitions. And then by then, you could probably build something... Uh, you'll probably be up to steel. You can probably even build like another little layer around it. You know by then you guys can Move on with it as much as you want. It doesn't have to just be this single base But I think this base would be able to last till day 70 and then by the end of day 70 it might look like this But I, I would count that as a win But anyways, if you guys liked it, please leave a like comment and subscribe helps me out a lot You don't have to but I appreciate it and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.